you know, I told my colleagues, we were fighting to ban assault weapons. They responded by assaulting democracy. I hereby declare Representative Justin Jones of the 57th Representative District expelled from the House of Representatives of the 113th Assembly of the State of Tennessee. The expulsion was the climax of a culture of silencing voices of dissent, of, of uh, particularly attacking um, members of color and, 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 and silencing us from, from being seen as equal in this body. But the world was watching. What was happening in Nashville is that we had thousands of young people, mothers, grandmothers, community members at the Capitol. It was the largest protest we've had in, in, in a decade in response to the Covenant massacre. These young people predominantly, many of whom can't vote, many of whom feel disenfranchised, but all of whom feel in fear and terror for their lives, came begging the legislature to do something, to act. And our colleagues wouldn't even let us talk about the issue. And so, you know, we had our microphone shut off. And so that's why I had a megaphone on the House floor. And so what led us to the well was a state of emergency in our state that says we cannot do something in the ordinary. We have to do something outside of the ordinary to dramatize the crisis we're facing. And if you will not hear us, we have no choice but to find a way to get in the way. And as John Lewis said, to get in good trouble, necessary trouble. When the Republican supermajority um, expelled me, they silenced the voice of my district, District 52, which is 78,000 people, predominantly black and brown, a very diverse district in the South. Um, and a very working class district. This was the first expulsion for a breach of decorum. Really, I think you can't separate it from the fact that you know I am one of the youngest black lawmakers. I'm 27, Pearson's 28. We are both the youngest black lawmakers in the state. And then you had Sister Gloria, I'm one of two Democratic women in the state house. Gloria was not expelled, but we were. And so there definitely is a racial component. And I believe that it is a form of, of, of suppressing the voice of my district. It's been exhausting, you know, but it's also been empowering at the same time. Because our, my message really is to, the, is to young people across the nation that if we were not a force to be reckoned with, they would not be so afraid of us and try this hard to silence us. I mean, we've never seen a step like this, but it was because I really believe that, you know, myself, Representative Pearson, represent this new vision of America, this new vision of the South. Justin Jones has been elected as the interim successor for the vacant seat of Tennessee House District 52. Our fight for democracy goes on, and it won't stop there, but that we must continue to hold these undemocratic forces um, in check, that we must continue to act and organize in the Capitol, and that we must continue um, to push for common sense gun laws. That's what brought us, that's what started this, you know, this, this fight. Your attempt to kill democracy did not work. The people who expelled me are not my constituents. They're not the people who I serve, they're my colleagues. And my heart and my focus will always be on the people who I serve, the people who elected me to represent them.